I didn't win the Statue Performers Disneyland competition, Archie. The cousins aren't going to Disneyland. I asked Tallulah to spell check my entry for the competition. She's unreliable. Statue Man Bob says that, that all the statue performers at Disneyland are, are one pose ponies and say what you like about my spelling, but I'm a multi-poser. Archie! What's wrong? You've barely touched your flat white. It's languishing there on the table. You... I'm so sorry. I know you only wear that t-shirt when you're feeling a bit out of whack. What's wrong? I've been feeling a little down lately, Adelaide. Too right. Well, yeah. I know I'm a very bouncy and sprightly person, usually. Like a kangaroo. Last night I had this dream again. I'm at the cafe. <laughs> and uh, my phone rings. I reach into my pocket. Marbles. M-A-R-B-L-E-S. Marbles. Marbles. Yeah. And... I don't really know, like, how that's happened, but I feel like if you cut me in half, marbles would, like, fall out of my body. And... No one's going to cut you in half. Well, I do get scared, Adelaide. I'm cricking, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm a cracker. I, 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 I can't be everything to all men, do you know what I mean? Yes, but Archie, what you can be is a statue performer to all men. <laughs> and I know that the reason you're cracking is because you're hollow. And you know why I think you're hollow? It's because you've abandoned statue performance. Come back to it, Archie. No, no, Adelaide, it's just, you know... Remember the I, days when we were 13? Right, you need to take a sip of that. Remember the days when we were 13 performing for the Prime Minister? We made that man cry. I do remember that, Adelaide, I do. Yeah, and I know what happened. Do you remember what happened? Yes, I remember. Well, I had to lie to the army so I could get in because of that injury. Shattered elbow, schmettered schmelbow. Come to the competition with me next weekend. I can't make the horse front and behind without you. I need you. I don't think I could fit into that like a unitard again. I mean, I've grown hips since then. We've all grown hips since yeah. then. Archie, we can do a duo performance. Come with me to the competition. But I'm not the pixie boy I used to be. You're the man you are. What? And what the world needs right now is men who can stand firm. On a plinth. Exactly. For more than an hour. For more than two hours sometimes. I mean, let's not forget. Maybe three. Is it a challenge? Say yes. Yes. I will, Adelaide. Thank you. Will you do me a favour? Of course, anything. I just really would like not to hear about these, you know, marbles. So just, if you wouldn't mind, don't mention marbles. I mean, let's not make a big deal of it, but don't mention right, sure. marbles. You know, because sure. I really... I, I, <laughs> Like, for, you know, forget, forget it, you know, you mentioned marbles again. You know, I've a little bit of that. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. You need to cheer up. Let's go shopping tomorrow on South Melbourne Street. We can get the bus from Marble Arch. Maybe I'll just walk from Bond Street. Mm. That's a beautifully marbled wall. I like, I think it's modelled. Archie, you're losing your... Mind? Pallor. You're as pale as alabaster. Maybe you should see the doctor. Mr. Arbles? The one with the glass eye? The one with the glass eye. Well, there we go. You know, I've been channeling Minnie Mouse recently. Yeah. As opposed to Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Because she's the underdog, yeah. like me, and I can relate to that. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that under or over, we're better together. That's beautiful. Thanks. I love you, sis. I love you, bro. Yeah.